Citation 189 Hotels with you on the ILS low approach. Citation 29 Hotel Santa Barbara Tower, runway 7, cleared low approach, 10904, and I have two aircraft in the uh, crossing runway pattern. 89 Hotel. One dot, gears coming down, gears down at line 3. Honeywell, the world leader in cockpit displays, introduces the Integrated Primary Flight Display, or IPFD. You'll never look at primary flight displays the same way again. Synthetic vision brings together pieces of information in the cockpit that we have to look at various displays to find and interpret. And what we're doing is trying to create the picture outside the window. You feel like you're in the environment and it's very natural and, and you don't have to do the mental workload that's required to create that picture. Yep, there's the coastline. Coastline matches beautifully. The approach that we've taken is very much a low risk approach. It's taking symbology that's already on flight deck systems and pilots are familiar with, such as heads up display symbology. Superimposing those two categories, the heads up display symbology and the ground prox terrain to give you that integrated picture. When it enters production, the Honeywell IPFD will give pilots the best ever view of their world. The system integrates tactical flight path information and cues that pilots already understand with a synthetic three-dimensional image of surrounding terrain. During our development flying of the Honeywell Synthetic Vision System, I came to appreciate it more when flying in areas where I wasn't familiar. For instance, flying a night approach at Reno we were being radar vectored to the localizer and the glide slope was out of service. We were able to readily determine where the high terrain was and once on final, we're able to establish ourselves on the correct glide slope using the HUD symbology. What we found flying in the weather and at night primarily that when you, uh, one of the tricks is that you turn synthetic vision off on the pilot when they're flying it and you find that now all of a sudden your mind has to shift gears and start to try to figure out is there a hill to the left of me and even though I have that information in the cockpit it's not right in front of me and you just the comfort level uh, goes way down or the anxiety level goes way up. Terrain image is generated with information from the extensive database of Honeywell's industry-leading enhanced ground proximity warning system which has logged more than 500 million flying hours. The result is a display that makes it easier and more natural than ever for pilots to continuously gather and interpret critical flight information. The synthetic vision system will reduce blunders. CFID accidents don't happen unless someone blunders. That's either ATC or the pilot or there's some nav error. The SVS system will alert the pilot well before that blunder is made. If you're being vectored, you know where the high terrain is at. If you were given a turn to the left and you could see that there is high terrain to the left, you will question that immediately. As you fly it for a little bit, synthetic vision, you, you find yourself very comfortable. And what you find is that you don't have to try to create the picture that's out the window. You have the picture that's out the window right in front of you. Honeywell's IPFD is changing the way a pilot looks at the world once and forever. We fly the synthetic vision on, a, uh, on an occasional basis and we don't constantly have it in the airplane. And when they take it out, we want it back. My, 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 that's nice.